I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up, everybody? Average Sniper here. And Merry Christmas to you guys. Holy crap. It is Christmas Day. And uh, this is a match that we won. Spoiler alert. I win. On Christmas Eve. Um, and we are going to be streaming today on Christmas at 2 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. I will put a link to the stream in the video description. Otherwise, you can just go to my channel and go to the live page. Holy crap, guys. It's Christmas, my most favorite holiday. Let me tell you some of the reasons I love Christmas so much. Number one, I like spending some time with my family I like everybody getting together and uh, opening presents. Uh, number two, I like giving gifts. It feels so good to uh, give gifts to family members and friends and just see their reactions and the joy on their face, you know, when they get something that they wanted or if they just get a gift card and they can buy whatever they want. That's kind of the best present there if somebody just gives you money. You know what I mean? And uh, third, I enjoy streaming on holidays. That is actually one of my favorite things to do. I know there's going to be tons of people today that are going to be at relatives or friends' house. Uh, maybe get a little bored after, after you do the present opening and the gifts. Or maybe a lot of people do that on Christmas Eve and you've already done that. Or maybe where you live, you don't even celebrate Christmas. Either way, I'm going to be streaming today. So make sure you tune into that. Guys... This is my uh, Christmas gift to you. It's been a long time since I've done just a regular PUBG commentary with a voiceover. So here we go. Playing on Vikendi, uh, the most fitting map for Christmas Day and getting a Christmas chicken dinner, by the way, and uh, just mowing people down. So the loadout we have is a UMP and a VSS. Kind of a weird loadout. But I made it work. Look at that truck floating there. Will they ever fix all the bugs in PUBG? I don't know. So right here, here's one of the things I've really been enjoying, guys. And I've been getting pretty good at it. It is the drive-by roadkill. And it's kind of funny that I've never really done it too much before. And I kind of started doing it right after they introduced uh, the ability to shoot pistols from the driver's seat. Which I myself have never even tried. I much prefer to seat swap and uh, use my main weapon from the passenger side. And one of the number one questions I get about that is, how do you seat swap without the car stopping on you? That was a close one right there. Um, the way you seat swap without stopping the car is to press the button to swap seats while holding the acceleration. If you let go of the accelerator and then press the button, your car will drift to a stop, and if you don't kill the guy you're shooting at, you will just be a sitting duck, hanging out that window, asking somebody to shoot you. So we've got a ghillie suit, and we've got all level 3 gear from a care package, but there's always a but. We did not take the weapon because it was an AUG. The AUG is good, but I didn't have a... It, the AUG's probably better than the UMP, but I didn't have enough 5.56 five, for it. I always am finding myself needing 556. Five, so I kept the UMP. I decided to play strategically since I have this ghillie suit. And this was the last match of the day, so I really wanted to get a win. And I decided to use the ghillie suit to my advantage. Now, sometimes getting a green ghillie suit on Vikendi does not work out in your favor. But this time, it really did work. I took all the skins off my weapons and off my pan so that I would blend into the bush as much as possible. That is my goal. And it really worked. From this bush, I believe I get about three straight kills just from this bush. And I'm able to use other shrubbery. Look at this guy creeping up on me. Just walk out of the bush. Get him with a nice little headshot. See, if you take the time to aim that UMP and don't just spray it everywhere, it is really good. It's no UMP9. That's the MP5 now. The MP5. Look at this guy creeping around the corner. All these guys heard me get that first kill, which was my fourth kill. And they just came creeping around the corner, trying to get a piece of the action. And oh boy, did they ever. So we're now in a top 10 situation. Still rocking the VSS and the UMP. No reason to change guns now. I hear a guy in the building directly to my right. But I decide 
to keep going. And I just go a full on sprint. I took a sniper shot right in the vest. That took half my health. Damn, and I have a level three vest. That guy got a good shot on me. Um, fortunately, I've got plenty of first aid kits. And since it's pretty late in the game in the top 10, I'm pretty sure um, that that guy won't be pushing me. One of the things I noticed was the Spinx guy, Spinx underscore, and the kill feed, the whole match has been killing people. And it made me a little nervous. I was like, if I make it to the end, eventually I'm going to have to face this guy. <laughs> and, okay. So we're pretty much at the end here. Seven alive, blue zone pushing me, still using bushes and shrubs to my advantage with this ghillie suit. I decide to go prone in this bush right here. I'm basically invisible. This guy runs into the house. I'm patient. I do not shoot him. I wait him out. And uh, eventually he comes out of the house and runs into this little garage. Has no idea I'm here. I'm so wanting to shoot him. Oh, I get a couple hits on the leg. I just decide to push him. And we take him out without taking any damage. Poor guy. All right, so let's check him for loot. And uh, just see, we have a, we've now got a much better level 3 vest. That's all I wanted. A better vest than my damage one. Somebody's throwing smoke out here. All of a sudden, I hear footsteps very close. Like, where's this guy coming from? And I decide it would be best to uh, go back to my shrubbery and use this concealment. Man, I just blend right into the bush with this ghillie suit. Oh my god. So now there's six alive, five enemies left. I am using this bush to the fullest advantage. Time to boost up. Always keep your boost running high. This is how you get a Christmas chicken dinner, guys. This is how... Pay attention. This is how you get a Christmas chicken dinner. And I know. I got so many chicken dinners that I got a PUBG hoodie. <laughs> Does everybody have level 3 gear? We just took out a white ghillie suit. Uh, he was not very camouflaged there. He might have been more camoed with the green ghillie suit against that wall. But either way, I probably would have seen him. So I'm just desperately looking for a new bush or something that's going to keep me covered. I actually don't want to go in buildings. I've been trying my best to avoid going in buildings in the end game, and you'll see why very shortly. So this is the only bush I could find uh, like in my direct area, and as soon as I got there, I heard a guy behind this wall. There's three alive, so this is the second the last. There he is. So we just killed that guy, and that turned out to be Spinks, and he actually did quite a lot of damage to me. I actually peeked out way further than I wanted on that wall. I can hear the last guy in this house. The blue zone is pushing. And this is why I don't like to be in a house in the final circle, because you're most likely eventually going to have to leave, and it's going to make it an easy win for the last guy. That was our Christmas Eve chicken dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And Merry Christmas. Don't forget to tune in to the Christmas Day stream at 2 p.m. Eastern. Bye, everyone.